Hello, Standing Rock. <clears throat> so part two uh, is brief, but very important. I am a firm believer in the power of data. Because without it, we're just guessing. And we don't have the luxury of unlimited resources to do a lot of guessing. So we need to know what is producing results so that we can better direct, strategize, and make the most of the resources that we do have. So point four, I propose that we create an annual State of Children and Families report. We need to identify the data indicators that are going to give us the best snapshot of the current state of our child and family welfare. We then need to identify which programs are already collecting this data, or which can collect this data, and then centralize its collection for use in quarterly assessments and for our annual report. We really do a poor job of collecting our own data, and then even finding ways to make uh, use or, or to best utilize the data that we do have. But I believe that we can do better. This is also actually a current goal of the Children and Families Consortium that we're working on right now, and I will continue to aid in that work because I believe this report and the collection of this data is important. Point five. I propose that we work with Sitting Bull College and their students to create internship and research projects to aid in our data collection. Having been a part of the Sitting Bull College family in different capacities for the better part of a decade, I always say that SBC really is one of our greatest and most underused resources on Standing Rock. I think that working with them to create real-world useful projects in all different types of data collection will be mutually beneficial to both the tribe and to the college and to those students. Point six. We need to map and refine our interagency referrals procedures. So it's always very bizarre to me how in most governments it takes so much effort and paperwork to simply work together. And our Standing Rock government is no different. Nevertheless, we need to get MOUs, Memorandums of Understanding, in place to better map referrals for services between the 60-some programs and schools serving our people so that these services are better utilized and streamlined and, again, so that data is better tracked. So that's it for this section of my Child and Family Welfare platform. In our next section, we will address meth and other drug addiction solutions. Thank you again for your time.